Especially when you play for the A team, it's something special, you know, you play for your country, of course, every time you go, you are proud, your family is proud, so uh, this is definitely a, a special feeling when you go there. And it also, you know, you are, now we were in eight days in Bosnia, you know, you're surrounded by, uh, let's say, you know, your people, uh, also you see, I don't know, some people that you grew up with, uh, your family comes to the game. So it gives you a motive to perform even better and also uh, to charge your batteries a bit also when you come back to the club that you're at your 100%. Over the years uh, I've been playing for under 17, under 19, under 21, now for the A team. So I'm quite used to, to this switch, you know, going from the club football to national team football and then back. Uh, the most important thing for me is, uh, you know, to do my thing with the, with the national team and come back uh, uninjured and ready to play for the, for the club. Uh, it was a difficult game <laughs> against one of the best teams uh, in Europe right now, Germany. Uh, but I think we played this game really good. We, I think we played uh, even uh, higher than the, the people expected. Unfortunately, sometimes even when you play above your expectations, uh, sometimes it's not enough for Germany. Uh, but I think the team did a, a good game, that oh, I also did a good game. Unfortunately, in, in the nation leagues, you only need two yellows to be suspended. Uh, but okay, you know, now, now I was suspended this game, but I will be av available, I hope, for the next two games, again against Germany and Netherlands. So, uh, I'm satisfied. Pretty easy, because I know what uh, the, the fans expect, what the coach expect, you know, what are the expectations for this club, but I also know what are the expectations for national teams. Every time I go with the national team, I set certain goals that I want to achieve. It's the same with the club, you know, every time I, I come back, I switch on and I say, OK, now it's San Gal and you know, this is the most important game. Every time the game that is coming is the most important game for me. So I say that switch for me is, is pretty easy. Yeah, it was a special feeling, special emotion, you know. It was my, I think, 31st league game for Basel and to, to score my first goal, I was so happy, you know. I didn't even know how to celebrate, you know. It was just, I was just carried uh, with emotions. Last game against St. Gallen here, I hit the crossbar, which was like an easier chance, but it was similar. The ball was coming a bit uh, behind me, so I used that experience this time to really guide the ball at the, at the, at the right, uh, right way. Uh, but yeah, in a game where you win 1-0 to score the only goal, this is the moment I will always remember. But I hope I can, I can build on that and score some more goals. For me, uh, you know, the team is developing in the right way. I think we have a certain idea that when you watch our games, you can see always that we want to play football, you know, from the goalkeeper, uh, not only long balls, but really to play football. Also in defense that we want to press a lot. This is our, our identity, you know, high energy, a lot of running. But, you know, some games, you know, you put that idea to the pitch in a better way. Sometimes it doesn't go uh, as well as you hope, so, uh, hope it would. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's been a bumpy season, you know, first two losses, then three or four am amazing games, then two, two derby losses, but now win. It's like this, you know, this league is really close. Each team is difficult to beat. I wouldn't say there is like one team that is so above everyone else. I would say this is a league of like seven, eight teams or even 12 teams that are really close in quality and each game you have to be at your maximum. And I think, uh, especially in the last games, where there was a couple of losses in every game. We went in that game with the right mentality, you know, and uh, that is all I think the, the coach asks us. To, to have the right mentality and to follow our idea on the pitch. Alongside my career, career, I played also in the three. I played with the back four. So for me, it's it's not a big switch, you know. Of course, the, sometimes uh, it's it's a different role, you know. With the, with the three, you have to be more aggressive, maybe stay a bit higher on the pitch. With the four, it's it's again a, a bit different. But for me, it's no problem because I have a really a lot of games in both systems. My role in the team, you know, I want to have a, you know, a stable performance always, you know, not a, a lot of, you know, ups and downs, but really to play every game on, on a good level. And, you know, I, I think that is the most important thing for a centre back to be really stable and to bring your A game every game. 
Yeah, St. Gallen, they're, they're a really good team. You know, they have a, the, a certain idea of football, you know, uh, with a lot of players in the middle and also a lot of good offensive players, both in the first 11 and on the bench. Uh, so I'm not expecting an easy game. It's never an easy game, but we play at home. You know, when you play at home, when you play for FC Basel, Every every game at home is, uh, you know, you have to go for the win, and I'm expecting to win this game. You know, I know it will be difficult, but in my head and I think in the team's mind is only to to win this game. This is the the fuel, you know. Uh, our fans, you know, they they push us, you know. They even sometimes when you are tired, when you hear thirty thousand uh, people like uh, scream and uh, the fans, you know, yell and and try to push you over the edge. It gives you an additional 10% that you, you maybe didn't know that you have. So the fans, of course, are so important here. And especially the last games, the atmosphere was really crazy.